Nick Collier here. Um, we are going to continue with this project here. Uh, now what I've done is I've uh, brought the head of the uh, mill over into a 45 degree angle and I'm going to coming down on the piece exactly halfway between the center point of the of the shaft and the center point of the perimeter of the uh, you know the largest perimeter here but it doesn't look right it looks to me like this should be down another quarter inch so i think what i'm going to do is to go ahead and just drop that down another quarter inch and have a look at it and see what it looks like there uh, and then we're going to drill uh, eight holes around the perimeter and we actually uh, i got a um, an okay to drill seven holes from the guy that wants this and uh, so we're going to look at drilling seven holes and seven holes is going to put a magnet in between each one of these magnets so that's uh, that could uh, give us a little bit uh, more balance as far as visual is concerned and you know i'm mostly concerned about visual <laughs> Uh, anyhow, so we're going to drop this down a little bit. We're going to uh, check that out and see if it's going to kind of feel better to uh, to do that. And um, then we're going to drill seven holes and seven um, flats. And then uh, somehow we're going to come up underneath here and do the same thing. Seven uh, holes and flats. So, and I'm not sure how we're going to do that. But, you know, hey, we're going to work on it and figure it out. Um, stay with us. It'll be fun. All right, at this point, we're going to go ahead and uh, bring our center uh, drill in and uh, set a center. And then we'll trade that drill out for our threading drill, which is over here somewhere. want to get a drill that's just under the size of the uh, of the um, threads which is just right there and that looks like the drill drop that in here break it up at the correct direction, which would help. Slide it down a bit. There we go. Now we're going to get a drill. And we'll take this down. Well, we're probably going to take it a half an inch or so. Rotate ourselves around. Let's just see if the drill will, will center itself. Because it's not a real critical center. It's more like, uh, you know, it's a screw to hold a magnet in. So it doesn't have to be totally fully on center here. And it looked like it took pretty well without any problems. So we cut out one step. Helps a little bit. Another 45 degrees. And 10 minutes.
little bit deeper. Another 45 degrees and so on. So we got the holes drilled and now we're coming in with the tap and uh, and uh, threading the holes so that we can put the little screws in and to hold the magnets in. Pretty simple. I've done about four of them so far and now I'm on number five or six and uh, we're moving forward. Okay, so we got the holes drilled. We've got the holes tapped and we're ready to go on the top side. Now I need to come in and do just the same thing down here. And uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem because of course we've got this big old knot of, of aluminum down here and we have the plate in place. The head would have to rotate upside down and come in from this angle pointing in. So there's really no way to do that except to come in and uh, maybe, and I'm not sure quite yet how I'm going to approach it, but cut this off, bring it back to a ball, which it's going to be anyhow eventually, uh, and then put the shaft down the center here. Uh, do we have the shaft close to me? Oh, I did. Here is a shaft. Slide that down the center, lock it in place, and then uh, uh, use that as my stand to rotate this upside down and to put that in, um, in, in a vise or something that's going to hold it pretty well. So I think that's probably going to be, uh, that's going to work and that's I think the approach that I want to take. So we flip this thing upside down. Now we're doing the bottom side of this second or the third set of eights, eight, eight, eight. And we had to build a pin for it uh, because, of course, there was no longer any any stand to hold it. And uh, welded a little uh, clip onto the onto the pin so it would hold it in place fairly steadily. But even so, watch how this thing wiggles around a bit. And I got this thing going real slow. But, you know, it's cutting and it's doing an okay job. It's just going real slow. I've been at this for probably a half an hour at this point. And it peels off the metal. So we've got one more to do and then we got to go back in and, uh, and drill them. Now the one thing that happened is, is I got the magnets yesterday and it turns out that if you'll notice the uh, the hole that's on the um, equator of the sphere is much smaller than the hole that we're cutting now because the magnets were too big so we had to go to the next size up. Now we, after a while we're going to uh, come in and recut these holes and recut the, well not recut the holes but recut the seats and recut the seats on the bottom too. So uh, we're, we're going to be at this for a while, but that's, you know, hey, that's part of the process. So there we go. Okay, we're drilling, uh, we're drilling the centers of these, uh, of these uh, seats. And that's uh, pretty simple. drill bit goes in there like it's butter. Maybe just a little bit of oil. And the Bridgeport has this uh, really great little uh, attachment to it. Fairly inexpensive, but it's, um, it's a stop for the shaft, for the, uh, uh, for the ram. And I uh, bought this little uh, clip that you put on there, and it it stops it at whatever depth depth you want. 
so it's pretty easy to to find a stop we're going to go on to the next one and uh, then we'll uh, whip out the tap and tap this right. thing so uh, now we're down to uh, threading which is the last part well of course we got to come back and make these flats a little bit bigger but at this point uh, the ball is almost done and uh, we'll be able to start on the on the bearings and the bearing mounts pull that tap out clean everything off and I think we have one more hole to cut and we're ready to go Pocket, or the uh, seats cut and the mag one magnet in place and you can see that wiggle it around a little bit and it'll center right out and uh, we've got the screws coming so uh, so this part oh and I still need to make these uh, these uh, seats a little bit bigger so uh, other than that this parts pretty well finished and we're ready to move on and do some other stuff. Barbara's over here practicing making a little gong and eventually we're going to make a pretty good sized one and she's just kind of getting a feel for the hammering process kind of moving forward continuing to move forward there you go nice while she's doing that I'm kind of, I'm over here at the lathe and I've gotten the uh, the uh, ball finished although it's kind of gotten messed up a little bit I think I can come back all the little scratches and dings and stuff I think I can come back I'm going to do one final pass around here to really lock the ball in uh, to centric uh, concentric with the uh, with the shaft uh, and then once that happens uh, the uh, uh, then I'll lock the ball in actually what I'll do is uh, come in and cut a cut a small um, uh, flat in the shaft so that the the lock um, nut or the lock keeper can screw down into the shaft and lock this whole thing in place then I'll come back and do my final pass and square this thing up with the shaft and the shaft will be square and this will be with square with the shaft and then we can come in and cut our uh, our seats for the bearings and then start to build the bearing blocks which go on both sides of this and then uh, the platform that the whole thing sits on so that's uh, that's looking pretty good